Hello and welcome to the Modern Mainframe videocast where we talk about transforming your mainframe applications with DevOps. Today we're here at the DevOps Enterprise Summit here in Las Vegas and I'm joined by my colleagues Tony Anter who is the BMC DevOps architect and also the NedBank DevOps coach Jakes Olivier. Here at the show, we're hearing a lot about modernizing uh, DevOps tools, modernizing the mainframe, and improving the developer experience. I wanted to get your take on what you're hearing here around the show. Developer experience is definitely one of the top topics. Mm -hmm. um, a couple of interesting other concepts coming up, like continuous merge and continuous governance, which are pretty good concepts. Mm -hmm. Tony, what are you hearing at the show? I think developer experience is one of the big themes that we're talking about. Everyone is focusing, not everyone, but a lot of the focus this year is on the developer experience and how to make a developer's job easy and make working a delight. Okay, so you know when you put the two words together, mainframe and DevOps, those are two words that you don't often hear together. So uh, can you actually practice Main, uh, DevOps with uh, mainframe application development. Absolutely, I mean, the mainframe is just another platform. The mainframe is just another box in your, in your data center. So there is no reason you can't practice DevOps on that platform or any other platform. That's the great thing about DevOps. What are your thoughts, RJ? Oh, absolutely. Um, absolutely no reason not to Go DevOps. DevOps is a solid set of practices and you apply it to any platform, mm -hmm. whether it's mainframe, distributed, doesn't matter. You know, we've recently commissioned a Forrester study that found that eight out of 10 development organizations say that their mainframe development tools need significant improvement to be more effective. So what should be the main considerations when selecting uh, modern mainframe development tools? Jakes, I'll let you take that. You know, it's, it's a about giving the developers the functions and the tools that they require to mm -hmm. do their job properly. So a, a client with a good editor and everything they need bundled mm -hmm. in it is, is the way to go. Developer experience. I'm going to leave it as simple as that. <laughs> Developer experience. Make their experience a delight. Make it easy and they will come. Yeah. Right. O automate the mundane tasks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when you're thinking about mainframe application development, what should be your considerations for a modern IDE? I think you want to use the same tools and the same things that you're seeing on the distributed side. I, why reinvent the wheel? These things have been best practices and are, and are used on, for coding on your distributed applications for years now. So why would you want to change But how that? realistic is that, Tony? I mean, that's very realistic. COBOL is just a language. COBOL, PL1, Assembler, what you know, Java on the mainframe, whatever it is, it's just another language. And, and uh, it, it fits into the whole idea that mainframe is just another platform. Mm -hmm. So you can, you can have this modern tooling and these modern processes on the mainframe, the same as you do on the distributed side. Right. It's, it's, it's only in your mind that this is a problem. And Jakes, what's been your experience there at NedBank around that? Oh, we, we were able to leverage the, the tooling that the distributed teams used. So mm. it actually turned out to be very easy. Okay. So now what about uh, when you're thinking about uh, a modern source code management for the mainframe? What about that? I would say that there are options available to you. And one of the big ones being Git. Mm. Why? There, Using Git for source code management, Git's already proven itself as, as the preeminent player mm -hmm. in that space. So using that for a mainframe work, workload for mainframe source code, no different than using it for Java or Node or right. any other modern language that you're looking at. You know, we just did a study with IDC that showed that there's about 47% uh, of, the, uh, of the, the respondents to the survey that said in the next three years, they're going to be shifting their strategic mainframe applications to Git. Do you, do you, how, how does that fit with uh, some of your strategic plans? Uh, oh, it, it absolutely makes sense. If we look at people coming out of university, mm -hmm. graduates we're taking mm -hmm. on, they all come in with Git knowledge already. Yes. Um, and we see our teams aligning around value so we're definitely going to get to a stage where we've got teams that work on distributed and mainframe, and yeah. if they can all work in Git, that's brilliant. Yeah. yeah. How that's exactly what I'm hearing in the field. So in the field, every company that I talk to 
is either on their way to moving to Git, talking about moving to Git, or has a strategic plan to be on Git in a certain amount of time. Yeah. Now, how important is it to track process metrics when you're looking at mainframe application development? Vital. Mm -hmm. You can't, you, if, you, if you can't measure it, it doesn't exist. You have to look at those metrics. You have to be able to baseline where you're at right. and then continuously measure as you go along in order to show improvement. Otherwise, how does the business that you just got done asking for $10 million, or not quoting a price there, but $10 million to, um, uh, to, to implement DevOps, how are you proving to them that they got their, they got their return on investment? Mm -hmm. You have to have those numbers. Jace, what's your experience in this? Look, we initially struggled to really uh, estimate the savings we got mm -hmm. uh, because we didn't have solid baselines and metrics to start off with. Um, so we did some exercises to really quantify the sure. savings. Um, but after implementing it, what we found is the wealth of knowledge okay. gave us such powerful insights into where we could improve. Okay. Well, hey, this has been a great talk. Thank you very much for talking with me about modernizing the mainframe developer experience. And thank you for joining us for the Modern Mainframe. <laughs>